Hey, Jim Hoffman here for EMS Office Hours. This is your Monday Minutes. Uh, we're up to episode uh, 13 here of, uh, of the quick study tips and still focusing on the anatomy and physiology. And of course, we always talk about why this is important. And as always, guys, this is important because this is the stuff that's going to help you when you're taking your test, when you're doing documentation, when you're trying to present something to to a doctor or a nurse, and also to help you with your clinical impressions on a patient and what might be going on with them. This all ties in together. And while these are primarily nice, short, key elements that I'm pointing out within the different subjects here, uh, you know, these are the key elements that if you don't understand them, that I encourage you to go ahead and look further into it, do a little more research, crack open that textbook, and and uh, do some more reading so that you do kind of understand maybe the broader aspect of what we're talking about. So as I mentioned last week, we're going to talk about the heart and circulatory system again. This is part two. Uh, not too much left to go over. And we're pretty much talking about the electrical system itself, uh, cardiac volume, and also regulation and heart function. Okay, so when we talk about the electrical system of the heart, okay, we want to talk about where the the uh, impulses come from and how the electricity follows through the heart. This is an important aspect, guys, I believe, because this is one of those things that you will see on your EMS exams, right? And uh, where does the, the contraction start? Where does it go from there? And where does it end? So that you know that the higher the heart rate, the higher up within the electrical system, the um, the uh, uh, pulses are coming from, right? So your contraction starts at, at the sinoatrial node and goes into the, those intra uh, atrial pathways, then to your atrial ventricular node, into the bundle of His, and of course divides into the right bundle branch, and then your left bundle branch, and then finally down into your Purkinje uh, fibers that take the impulses to those individual cells, okay? Now, this is just words, but again, look at the, the, the flow here so you get an idea as how electricity falls, falls through the heart. And I was going to show a picture of um, the EKG. I didn't want to confuse you guys on that, though, here, um, because uh, I wanted to kind of show where the P wave was during this and where your QRS was during this. But what I'd rather do here is just go ahead and uh, I'm going to show you, I do want to show you a picture, but of the actual heart itself and the atrium and ventricles and let you see here where it starts, one, your, your, the SA node, two, the AV, right, the bundle of His, the right and left bundle, branch, bundle branches, and then your Purkinje fibers, all right? Just to give you a um, sort of a visual representation of this, um, I do have some some videos within uh, EMS Office Hours, also on, also on TurboMedic that go deeper into this and also focus on the QRS complex itself and how this relates to that. I don't get again, don't want to get into that. That's not really what this Office Hours and this Monday Minutes is focusing on. It's really just on the the, the electrical system itself, and we'll get into those EKGs and what what um, uh, uh, the QRS complex and P waves and all that stuff mean uh, later on down the road. But for right now, again, just want to give you this kind of visual, but remember this pathway, remember how it flows through the heart, because this is the stuff I'm telling you, you will, you will see this on an EMS exam in one way or another, okay? So try to remember these key points. If you still don't understand it by just looking at some of these, these quick videos here and these quick slides, Look deeper into it, whether you pull out an EKG book you might have, maybe, or just pull out your paramedic textbook. I would say 99% of the paramedic textbooks will cover this in detail and really explain it away to you, okay? Now, cardiac volume, just as real quick, we know what this is, right? It Cardiac volume is equal, equals the stroke volume times the heart rate. Again, something you will see quite frequently on EMS exams, okay, what cardiac volume is. 
And now we have the regulation and a half function. The last section here, and this of course is the rate and the speed. Okay, so you have your barrel receptors, they respond to changes in pressure of the heart or the main arteries. And then your chemoreceptors that sense changes in the chemical composition of blood, like how much oxygen is inside the blood. Okay, now your normal pressure is regulated by monitoring things like blood volume, like constriction of the arteries, and by the force of cardiac contraction. Now again, very simple guys, this is a quick Monday Minute, I'm just finishing up the cardiac uh, uh, heart and, and uh, cardiovascular system. Um, but again, go back to this video to kind of focus on some of the things I mentioned. But I broke this down to a smaller section as part two, because even though this is a short Monday Minutes, each section of these guys, you will see this on exams. You will see this on an exam at some point. You will see what cardio, cardiac volume is. You'll be asked that on an exam. You'll be talked about baroreceptors and chemoreceptors on exams. Okay? If you don't understand this stuff, guys, you need help on it and, and grasping it bit bigger, be sure to go ahead and look this up and do some more research. And I think by doing some research on your own and figuring this stuff out, you will find that you'll understand it much, much better than just being told it or just seeing it on a practice exam. All right, so that's it for this Monday Minutes, guys. Again, I hope this helps you a little bit. Um, be sure to let me know if if you're getting any, any help from this. If you want to see some Monday Minutes that, that I have not covered yet, and I'll be sure to go ahead and try to uh, create a, a presentation and a quick Monday Minutes on a topic that you want to hear about. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, be sure to send them over to me. It's contact at emsofficehours.com. Of course, guys, I always go ahead and mention it, uh, and most of these Monday Minutes is that these are based upon um, the EMS Quick Study Guide. This is a digital resource that you can download um, at the emsseo.com uh, website. And this is really the meat and potatoes of an EMS course. It's broken down from that 600,000 page textbook into about 100 and somewhere pages and covers all the key elements that you will most likely see on an exam. And as I mentioned before, I have used this study guide the night before a test to help me review, okay? And also in the beginning of when I know a test is coming up to kind of point out places that I have forgotten about that I'm kind of weak in, okay, or that I might need a little more refresher than usual on. So a great tool to have in your EMS library. So go check it out. Just click here on the bottom of this uh, video here for details, and you can go ahead and download this guide for yourself. So that's it for today, guys, and the EMS office hours and, and uh, the Monday Minutes. As always, I am Jim Hoffman. Until next time, stay safe.